UN warns world set for 2.7 C rise on today's emissions pledges. Here's a summary of the article. London, October 26 Current commitments to cut greenhouse gas emissions put the planet on track for an average 2.7 degrees Celsius temperature rise this century. A United Nations report said on Tuesday, in another stark warning ahead of crunch climate talks. Governments will be in the spotlight at the COP26 conference next week to meet a deadline of this year to commit to more ambitious cut pledges, in what could be the last chance to put the world on track to limiting warming to below 2 C above pre-industrial levels and ideally to 1.5 C. As extreme weather events ranging from wildfires to floods have hit countries around the world, a UN report in August warned that global warming due to greenhouse gas emissions could breach 1.5 C in the next two decades. The annual emissions gap report by the United Nations Environment Programme which measures the gap between anticipated emissions and those consistent with limiting the temperature rise this century as agreed in the Paris Accord, said updated pledges only reduce forecast 2030 emissions by an additional 7.5%, compared to the previous commitments. Wake up call. Latest UN data shows 143 countries, accounting for around 57% of global emissions, have submitted new or updated emissions cut plans ahead of COP26 and their total emissions are estimated to be around 9% of 2010 levels by 2030 if implemented fully. If all pledges by 192 countries under the Paris Agreement are taken together, an increase of around 16% in global emissions is expected by 2030 compared to 2010, which would lead to warming of around 2.7 C. This report is another thundering wake-up call. How many do we need? The emissions gap is the result of a leadership gap, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres told a press briefing. By 2030, to reach the 1.5 C limit, annual greenhouse gas emissions need to fall by an extra 28 gigatons of CO2 equivalent, or be halved from current levels of nearly 60 GT, over and above what is promised in updated pledges and other 2030 commitments, the report said. For the 2C limit, an additional 13 GT cut in annual emissions is needed by 2030. We have eight years to make the plans, put in place the policies, implement them and ultimately deliver the cuts, UNEP Executive Director Inger Anderson said. This post received a score of 2,700, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. 2.7 2.7 C if all unconditional 2030 pledges are fully implemented, and currently G20 members are not on track to achieve either their original or new 2030 pledges. Frankly saying we're set for 2.7 C as some massive optimism bias. You were saying it as if the pledges for 2030 are something enormous, and the governments have really committed to enormous changes over the next nine years. They haven't. Read the report itself. On page 13, It shows that the difference between 2030 pledges and no pledges and just the current policies is literally 0.1 degrees. At the end of the day, most governments only need to make promises that are a few years further away than they expect to be in power. For example with the Conservatives in the UK, all Boris needs to do is say they'll achieve the goal by 2030. Then if Labour gets elected 2024 or 2029, and they don't meet the goal because they did nothing, they can just say, oh look see Labour screwed it up. It happened whilst they were in control. Hey, that sounds like Republicans in the US. That sounds like every political party in the whole world. The oldest trick in the book, if something goes wrong during their control, they get the propaganda blame for it, it doesn't even matter if they had nothing to do with it. COP26 climate talks to be held from October 31st November. 12 talks could be the last chance to curb warming. Updated pledges fall far short of what is needed. UN chief says era of hollow promises must end. More talk only and no action. The pledges mean nothing so it's going to go higher. Exactly. If the pledges aren't sufficient, just wait until we found out just how few of those pledges are upheld. The report itself. 2.8 C is the baseline with the current policies. 2.7 C is what happens with the unconditional pledges by 2030. 2.6 2.6 C as if the conditional pledges are also met. 2.2 C as if the current commitments for 2050 are met, but if the pledges by 2030 do not change, that would be unlikely. It is a slight improvement over the assessment from Climate Action Tracker, 
which estimated 2.9c with the existing policies and 2.4c with the 2050 pledges. 2.7 if we meet the pledges that most countries aren't on track to meet. That's our not good. I don't want to lapse into being a doomer because that's not productive, but it's getting mighty difficult to be optimistic. Remember when 2c was considered the catastrophic limit of what modern civilization and ecosystems could withstand? I feel like we're slowly fooling ourselves into thinking a 3c plus world is possible. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.